are five different I buttons. Clock. Test the date and time within the shock log. Setup. Load a setup into the shock log. Start. Starts the journey. Stop. Stops the journey. Download. Downloads a report of the journey. Connect the USB I button reader to the PC. Insert the clock I button into the reader. In the shock log software, go to view and then select I button interface from the drop down menu. Click on the program tab and then click on the set clock button. You can remove the I button when the green status bar shows finished. Insert the setup I button into the reader. In the shock log software, go to view and then select I button interface from the drop down menu. Click on the program tab and then click on the setup button. This opens a window for you to select a previously saved setup file. You can either double click on the setup file or you can click once on the name and then click on the open button. You can remove the I button when the green status bar shows finished. When you insert the I button into the shock log, you do not need to use a lot of force. The I button needs to make a connection between the center post and the outer metal ring. When you place the I button into the shock log I button ring, the I button LED will flash red briefly, followed by the slot alarms flashing green to signal that the I button has been read. When you use the setup I button, it can be removed as soon as the slot alarm LED turns green. The LED will remain on after removal until the shock log has finished updating its settings. The setup is complete once the LED goes out. Insert the download I button into the reader. In the shock log software, go to view and then select I button interface. If the download I button contains data to be read, a download button will appear. Click on the download button to read the data off the I button. You can remove the I button when the green status bar shows finished. The download I button does not download all of the data from the shock log. It only downloads a one page report in the settings from the shock log. You will still need to connect the shock log to the PC with the USB cable to download the entire data set.